Seeing such claims as Mac Mini is the new gaming console raised my inner tech nerd to save you guys from those informations. Here's the real reason the base model Mac Mini with M4 is far from gaming consoles. It's not the Mac Mini equipped with Apple M4 just gives you around 5.04 teraflops if there's own graphics to be believed. But teraflops doesn't really translate performance that way. So it's not the main problem here, considering PS4 only had about 1.84 teraflops, which is still a decent console. It's not the 10 core CPU, which is actually pretty good and the best single core performance a computer have ever got. Even the multi core performance is better than Ryzen 3700X, which is above the same CPU of PS5 and almost 5600X level. But it's the bandwidth. See, I love bandwidth. And it is not only me loving bandwidth here, games also needs them to load scenes and textures. Apple M4 despite having very fast RAM, achieving one of the best GTA 5 speed of 120GB per second, this still is nowhere near VRAM or video memory speed that is found in graphics cards. And as graphics processing unit in M4 or all in Apple Silicon shares the system memory or the RAM, that 120GB per second DDR5 is nothing and this is all they got to load the game scenes. For instance, RTS 3050 has 224GB per second memory bandwidth, PS4 had around 176GB per second, PS5 with 448GB per second memory bandwidth. And here is your 4080 and 4090 world's best GPU. So, Given 120GB per second memory bandwidth in Apple M4, it can run games, but it's nowhere near a console killer or even a replacer. If you go to M4 Pro and M4 Max, things get better as they have 400GB per second and 800GB per second memory bandwidth to work with respectively. But again, they are nowhere near the console price. Bottom line conclusion, don't buy Mac yet for gaming. Maybe with Apple M10, we'll have 1000 GB per second memory bandwidth, then we can talk. Until then, peace.